Um, my favorite part about my internship is getting to see what it would like, what applying medical knowledge in the real world looks like, and how important it is every day. So I'll see patients that have different things going on every day, and it's just like I'm learning more and more, but I'm also seeing the importance of knowing the specifics of everything. What I love, especially like in the department that I'm in, is like the amount of collaboration that happens. There's like social workers and dietitians and fitness people and the doctors and the med students and then high school students like me. And it's really cool to see them all collaborate and they're all like sharing their ideas and bouncing off on each other. And I get to watch all of that happen. It's really cool. I, I actually really enjoy having the interns here. And they are, they bring energy and they are very respectful and very responsible and they're a big help. Uh, I think that it's nice because I not only get to know them, but I get to teach them while I'm working. And it, it helps me as a dentist to be able to, to tell people exactly what I'm doing. The patients even say that they really like it. Um, they're like, wow, I didn't know you were doing that. You know, so it helps me out in that respect. Also, they provide a uh, different perspective. You know, having a young person come in, they've given me advice about my social media, you know, and, and uh, so it, it's, been, it's been great having them here. And also, in any business, you tend to get into a routine. And by having them come in a couple times a week, it's something to look forward to, you know, and, and they're very helpful and, and um, it brings, brings energy and, and, and life to the office. So we also prepare the kids for um, what to expect in college because we've been there. And when they're interacting with the CMA or the CNA who's had six months of schooling and a certificate, that's, fa that's fabulous. They can interact and ask those questions. Maybe that's what they want to they want to do and they can ask the appropriate questions. Well, where did you go to school? How much did it cost? Um, who, who, am I, who should I be networking with? And then if they're interacting with the LPNs or the RNs, whether it's a two-year degree, a diploma degree, or a four-year degree, they're also asking those questions of those uh, staff members. So they're getting a lot more information than just how to uh, test a urine or how to draw blood from somebody, which I do teach them because um, I like them to do lots of hands-on skills. High schoolers love that. Um, so they're getting a lot more information. We've been there, we've done that, the whole college thing, and we can uh, sort of predict where their um, problems may be and sort of help direct them or guide them around that. Sure. I was very honored to be asked to do the internship for the high school students. Um, Katrina um, Dudley asked me and also I talked to Dr. Irving Crone, who's one of my mentors, who's the chair of the Department of Surgeries and, and the big question was why not? This is um, what a wonderful opportunity for high school students to be able to uh, be immersed in an element of healthcare that's real, it's not textbook, it's real as far as being with the patients and gives them a real understanding of healthcare. It may be that some of these students don't like healthcare, they may be scared, scared of healthcare, so what a better way to determine that. Um, every high school student that we've um, seen, we have seen 20 so far, we've done a total of 41 mentorship people in the last three years, but every one of them has been very motivated and had a wonderful time. One of the things they like best about the program is talking to patients, actually listening to patients and talking to patients. So I was very honored to be a part of that as far as being able to um, shepherd them into this um, mentorship or internship role. So I observe the a nurse coordinator here and basically see what she does day to day, making appointments for patients, bringing them in from the waiting rooms. And I also get to see, it's kind of two in one here at the um, Fetal Echo Clinic. I see the sonographers scan the um, mothers to see what's going on with the babies and they focus specifically on the cardiology part of it. So they look at the baby's heart to make sure everything's all good. And I'll also usually get to see the um, doctors consult with the patients afterwards, say, oh, everything's fine, or oh, we need you to come back sooner, take a special look at this, or, you know, don't, but they always make sure, don't worry, everything like that. Um, but um, Thursdays, I go to the NICU, and that's completely different. It's more like hands-on, um, working with the nurses there, taking care of the babies, seeing how they actually have to have step-by-step -step with the charting. There's a lot of different doctors that I follow. I pretty much follow a different doctor every day in the endocrine department, but I just come in and I get acquainted with them and then just start following them around and observing what they're doing. They do, they help with sterilization, 
They learn about the business side of it, about uh, how important it is to confirm appointments, and um, they also um, help out in the in the rooms, uh, cleaning and disinfecting the rooms. Uh, mostly, they they observe the procedures, and that's that's what they do. Um, the majority of yes, I see lots of um, opportunity to sort of professionally socialize them. You know, they're used to the school, they're going class to class. When they come here, they need to be on time, they need to work while they're here, they need to be taking notes and asking questions, they need to be dressed appropriately. So I sort of try to be more of a mentor or a coach in that way to get them to realize that this is sort of their practice run, this is a job run, um, that they're to be professional. And they have to also socialize and interact with other professionals, other nurses, other staff, administration, um, positions. The value for the students is that they will have a life experience as far as being able to really find out what healthcare is about. Healthcare um, is, is caring for people, making people better, realizing that every person can realize their optimal level of well-being. That's the World Health Organization of Healthcare. Um, many patients we can't cure. Um, we can we can help to, to deal with things. But some patients we can cure. We also occasionally will see things called miracles. We can't explain why patients are better. We also deal with deaths with dignity, which is very important. But all these experiences are very real. They're very rich, and this, the, health, the high school students have a direct opportunity to be immersed in, correct, directly in them. So it's a great um, experience for that exposure. Um, exposure, 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 because these are kids that are trying to figure out what they want to do for the next 50 years of their life and they're making decisions about colleges and or trade schools. And so I try to get them exposed to as much things as I can get them exposed to in the medical field in primary care here. I'll have them stay for about a week, um, depending on their hours. They're sometimes here for two hours a day and sometimes they're here for eight hours a day, depending on their schedules. Um, I will have them shadow a certified medical assistant, a certified nursing assistant, an LPN, an RN, a nurse practitioner, and an MD. I also have them spend time with our audiologist, and I have them spend time in the lab doing some chemistry. So they get a full exposure of what primary care is all about. Uh, management. Many of our patients don't have doctors. Um, they have no one to go to. Some of them can't afford to get here. They get here on a taxi cab or hitchhiked here. Some of them run out of medications. They take no medication. So a lot of teaching, a lot of counseling that we do um, with the students directly, um, which hopefully, hopefully gives them a very rich experience. So the students, the high school students, I think, get a very rich experience of what healthcare is about. All the way from, we work with neonates from one day old children, labor and delivery, to non-engineering to 90 year olds who are um, still living a fairly good life but are very fragile. So giving them a tremendous experience in the operating room, in the acute care service, um, in, the, um, in the clinic. So again, it's a very comprehensive exposure to healthcare. Like there's so many good outcomes, especially in the NICU, that it's just the good by far outweighs the bad. In it. You know, I think that people should consider taking taking on some some high school students for internships. Not only again is it is it um, sort of their test run for what they want to do, but they're making big decisions and they may not know what does a day look like in that role that I'm going to go spend four years of school doing. 
uh, practicing and getting a degree in, maybe they have a completely different perception of what that is going to look like. And I think that not only are we having these kids as interns, but we're also being a mentor, like I said, as well as a coach. Um, what does it do for me as a, as a teacher? Um, that's, a, that's an excellent question. I guess it, it, it helps me to um, uh, feel a sense of um, being able to share with other people what, what health care is about. To be able to mentor and to know that some of these students may actually go into health care. Not all of them, some of them, they may be a nurse, they may be a doctor, they may be a surgeon, they may be a pharmacist, they may be a researcher. It doesn't matter as long as they do what, what they want to do and they reach their optimal level of, um, of um, well-being. Whatever that is, whatever their goal is, they're all, every one of them is very self-directed and very goal-directed. They all have different interests and we try to match that interest with the patient population. But for me, and I guess being selfish, it's very satisfying to know that I'm making a difference to help send these students or help work with Katrina Dudley at Monticello High School to make these folks um, not only better people but, but also have a great wealth of experience to go on with their careers. Um, every one of our students, well 95 percent of our students have um, um, gone on to um, school as far as college to um, secondary um, or education to um, community health care, excuse me, community college or to um, um, college and um, we kept up with some as far as nursing school. We have two that are going into um, pre-med as well. So very, um, very bright students are doing well and hopefully this program is contributing to their success.